Hey everyone, it's Vince here. Welcome back to another review. Ladies and gentlemen, on today's review, I am covering seven different Bitcoin earning applications, all from the same developer called Bling Financial. Now, this developer essentially makes games where we can earn Bitcoin by playing them. I think the way they actually manage to pay us the Bitcoin is from us watching advertisements on their apps. And then they give us like a fraction of the advertisement revenue. That's the best example that I can think of here of how they're actually able to pay us everyone. Because yes, there are advertisements on these applications. And as I said, I'm covering seven of them. So we have a lot to go through on today's video. Please remember to hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed as always. Let's kick off this review. Now, just to be clear here, this is not PayPal related. So you will need a Coinbase crypto wallet to be able to actually withdraw your cryptocurrency that you've earned through the Bling applications to this wallet, okay? By the looks of it, Bling only accepts Coinbase at the moment. Now, what you do with your funds once it reaches your Coinbase account, that's completely up to you. I do know that some people like to eventually build up enough cryptocurrency to then trade it on cryptocurrency trading platforms. But for now, I'm just going to be reviewing all seven of the applications and showing you exactly how much Bitcoin I made through playing these applications up to their daily limit of up to 20 levels per app per day. You can have one single account between all seven of the cryptocurrency earning applications. With these apps, the thing is they're mostly skill based. So they're really casual games where you have to try and do a certain task before the time runs out. So essentially you have 20 attempts to get as far as you can on each of these applications. But once you're actually finished with one of the applications, you can then switch to the next one and your balance that you earned on the last app will actually roll over to the next application because you're sharing an account. The currency system as well is very straightforward. Essentially, it's just you earn coins from completing levels. You turn those coins into Bitcoin itself. It's very easy to understand everyone. Each of the levels depend on the game itself, but roughly from what I could see, each of these levels would give you around a thousand coins to 2,000 coins, depending on how hard the levels actually are. I would like to take a quick moment to thank today's sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of inspiring classes for creators like myself. On Skillshare, you are able to explore new skills and get absolutely lost in creativity. I personally have been looking into the freelance and entrepreneurship classes as well as the film and video classes to help improve my creative skills. I really do feel like you guys out there would absolutely love some of the classes available in Skillshare right now. I am currently trying to learn how to make a documentary style of series here on YouTube and I've been watching Elaine McMillan Sheldon's create a short documentary video portrait series. Now to the first thousand people that use my link in the description below, you will be rewarded a one month free subscription to Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. The first application I tried was called Bitcoin Blast. Now, Bitcoin Blast is a very generic and casual game. Think of it this way, you have Bitcoins on the screen and you need to match the colors together. It's very easy to understand, but as you progress throughout the game, it does get harder and harder. Obviously, you'll have new objectives to complete and different things to match up together. In general, it really is a simple application to understand, okay? I think anyone would get the grasp of it very quickly, as you can see on the screen. I earned around 20 to 30,000 coins. Most of the applications are rewarded Ordered me this amount as well. Next up is Bitcoin Blocks. Now again, this is just another very generic and casual game. All you need to do is match the colors together of the Bitcoin Blocks. You really can't ask for easier apps, ladies and gentlemen. And again, as you progress through the app, obviously it will get harder as time goes on. But as I said, I think really anyone should be able to understand this application as well, okay? Literally tap on the same colors of the Bitcoin Blocks and you'll be just fine. Okay, so the next application is called Bitcoin Pop. Now, Bitcoin Pop, again, another fun application, very easy to understand. All you need to do is pop the cryptocurrency little balls. Simple as that, everyone, it's not hard. Aim the balls up, shoot them at the other balls and match the colors, and then you earn some coins. I love basic applications like these because you can just sit back and pretty much play them anywhere in the world on your phone. It's nice to see that these applications don't require too much strategy because I know a lot of people out there really can't be bothered when it comes to smashing out strategy. 
free when you're just trying to earn a few dollars here and there. But that's Bitcoin Pop, everyone. Very fun little application. So the next application is called Bitcoin Food Fight. Now, Bitcoin Food Fight to me is a very fun application. All you do is throw little knives at pieces of fruit in the middle of the screen. Again, you cannot complain here, guys. Essentially, though, don't hit your own knives that are stuck in the fruit or the food and you should be completely fine. This app does get quite hard, though, because you have to time your shots just right or you end up failing because obviously you hit your own knife. In my head though, I thought that this was probably one of the more funner apps to play on the Bling application list, just because of how simple it is and it can get very challenging, which I do appreciate as well. But again, I know some people might not like this app because they might find it too hard. But I feel like you should just give it a shot everyone because to me, it's a very basic application that I feel like most of you guys out there can really do good at. The next app is called Sweet Bitcoin. Now, this is another match three type of application, but this one actually does get quite difficult. I had some problems trying to pass some of the levels on Sweet Bitcoin, everyone. Again, match three type of app, as I said, but it does get quite hard. So if you guys like these type of applications that will get quite difficult quite fast, then you'll probably like Sweet Bitcoin a lot. The whole goal, match three, spread bubblegum around the screen and just try and pop the objects on the screen to get to the certain end of the level. It's pretty straightforward to understand. Once you play it, you know exactly what I'm talking about. As you can see on the screen here, you've probably seen applications like this before and I'm sure you've played them as well. Again, I didn't really think this was the funnest app to play in my personal opinion compared to what we've covered so far, but maybe you guys out there will really like it. The next application is called Bitcoin Solitaire. Now, I'm sure you can imagine what this is, everyone. It's Solitaire that rewards you with some Bitcoin for playing it, okay? And now, I don't really know Solitaire that well, but I feel like if you do know Solitaire, you could really blitz through this with no problems. The thing is though, there is a guide or a hint system on this application that does help new players. So thankfully, I was able to actually complete all 20 tries and actually earn Bitcoin from this app thanks to the hint system that taught me how to play. So even if you are completely new, you can still kind of understand how to play thanks to the hint system that teaches you on Bitcoin Solitaire. So please keep that in mind. A fun app all around if you understand Solitaire, now the last app is called Bitcoin Sudoku everyone. Now I've never played Sudoku in my life. Thank God for the hint system that Bling actually puts into their applications or I would be completely screwed. So if you ever play Sudoku, it's the exact same concept. Try and find the missing numbers and try not to match with numbers that are already in the little area that you're trying to find the missing numbers in. That's pretty much Sudoku from what I can tell guys. Now I did play on the easy difficulty though because I have no idea what I'm doing on Sudoku. But if you've played Sudoku before, you will probably ace this with no problems. I had no problem with this application once I learned how to use it and I feel like if you don't know how to play Sudoku, definitely try and read the hint system and the tutorial system that this application has on it and you'll probably learn very quick. Now, I didn't play to the end of my tries. I think I went about 10 levels in and then I ended up just giving up everyone because at this point, I pretty much reached where I want to be to be able to cash out now and to give you the definitive proof of cashing out on Bling applications as a whole. Now, it's time for the moment of truth with these cryptocurrency earning applications. So, I generated around 200K worth of in-game currency. Now, the thing is everyone, I don't know what kind of money you're expecting me to receive, but I issued a withdrawal request and managed to get paid by Bling in about three hours or so, which was great to see. The only thing is everyone, the received amount for 220K of the in-game coins was about 17 cents. Now, before you guys go crazy, just think of it this way though, okay? The market value of Bitcoin is very high right now. The whole point of cryptocurrency is that you really want to get in when it's low. So if you were to play these apps at the start of, let's say, when Bitcoin was around 40,000 value instead of 80,000 value, which it is now here in Australia, you'd probably get double that amount or even more. The whole problem is here though, is that I feel like a lot of people out there do not have the time just to earn a few cents here and there for cryptocurrency. So while I do appreciate that Bling pays us out, I don't really like the amount that we get paid. Hopefully that makes sense everyone because I sat playing these applications for five and a half hours straight to get only around 17 cents. 
So that toss up of, you know, me sitting on my phone for five and a half hours to only get 17 cents doesn't really seem that worth it now, does it? But for the people that don't care and just really like these applications, then this is the application for you. But for the people that really wanna try and generate some decent amount of money, at least a few dollars from playing crypto apps, then I can't really recommend this application because you won't receive it fast. The only way that you're gonna be able to generate like five or $10 on these Bling applications is if you don't cash out straight away, but you start really bulking up your wallet. So every day play all seven of the applications and then try and generate as many coins as you can throughout the week. I just don't see the worth in it everyone personally, but the choice is yours if you wanna use it or not. My job was just to test out the app. So hopefully you got the answer you're looking for on today's review. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you all in one to two days for the next review. See you next time.